Well, it's time I got back on to reviewing the Ubuntu derivatives before they're made obsolete in six months' time, or is it about five and a half by now? I don't know. I've taken some time to do this, haven't I? So let's start back with Zubuntu at 16.10, which is codenamed Yakti Yak. I'm going to sum this up really quickly in terms of the changes on the desktop. There have been none. The version of the XFace desktop that you're getting came out in February 2015. This is the same version of XFace as you got in 1604, 1610, and pretty much 1504 as well. So going back four versions of Ubuntu. I've seen some minor improvements in terms of the installer. There are a few more animations, but there hasn't been anything much in the way it changes on the desktop. So I'm going to do something a little bit different here. If you're trying to install the VirtualBox Guest Edition drivers, this is not the way to do it. Since Ubuntu 16.04, that has entirely failed. What I prefer to do is use a script. So let's make use of this operating system. So wget quidsup.net slash sh slash vbox guest dot sh. sudo bash vbox guest dot sh does the install of the Guest Edition drivers properly. And there you are, upon reboot there are no errors and you have a nice full-sized screen. So yes, I was not joking about it being an old version of X-Face, but does that necessarily mean it's bad? No, it doesn't actually. It's been perfectly functional, so I suppose. How do you improve upon perfection? So Zubuntu represents a mid-weight system. You've got some effects on the applications like a bit of shadowing there and rounded edges, which is nice. So you do get quite a nice styling effect. In terms of memory usage, it's not too bad really. That's 5% and I've allocated this virtual machine 8 gig of RAM, so what's, you know, we could do the maths to work that out. I mean, that's roughly 400 meg, isn't it? So what have we got? Um, 3-M used 354, so not a bad guess there really. So that's still lightweight enough that even if you only had, say, 1 gig of RAM on your operating system, it would be quite quick. The layout of the desktop is very simple really, got a few icons here on the desktop and the top left hand side is the whisker menu. This is really quite nice these days, you've got the option of searching or navigating through the various menus. The search is very quick and responsive, so if I start typing the calculator, I mean it's brought up calculator on the first result. So will it find LibreOffice Calc? Uh, okay. By the time I've got three letters of calculator, yes, we have a LibreOffice Calc. Perfect. And then I can scroll up and down the list with the up and down arrow keys. So I could do all that from the keyboard. You've got the option of resizing the whisker menu. Nice, that is very responsive there. Ha, <laughs> mugshot. <laughs> can we change the mugshot? Oh, we could. I've not got anything to hand though, so. On the top right hand side, you have the time, date, and calendar volume control, which has a link to Parole Media Player and the sound settings. Network menu. Right clicking on desktop gives you the option of creating new shortcuts, opening a terminal, changing options on the arrangement of the icons, shortcuts to the desktop settings, properties, and a full list of the applications again. So you've got another way of accessing the applications on the system. Going into properties, I was hoping that would bring up wallpapers, not the desktop properties. So which one's wallpaper? Desktop settings, isn't it? Yes. Of course, newer artwork designs from before. Let's have a look in the settings menu. Is there anything special here? Uh, not particularly. Theme configuration. That's a very simplistic way of changing some of the colors on the desktop. software updater. I would imagine there's a few updates out by now. Oh yes, quite a few updates. Yeah, go on and install them then. Are you going to ask for a password? It depends if there's a kernel update around and I would expect there is there as well because of the dirty cow exploit. And I've covered that more in well two videos now haven't I? Looking in the Funar file manager I did have to change the behaviour of the middle click to open a new tab. By default it opens a new window, which I thought was very strange. It seems a very Microsoft way of thinking because they seem to be very behind the times in terms of tab usage on browsers and file managers. So yeah, not difficult really, just change the behaviour there. So you've got a bit of flexibility on the system. I do find Funar a bit of a basic file manager really. 
I mean, for example, you can't have individual folder preferences. For example, if I change the detailed view here for the main folder, but then I want to go across to, let's say, music, because I've put a few things in there. And yeah, I'd like music to be the thumbnail view. Just that specific folder, I want to go back to thumbnail view. So what happens if I go back up again? Nope, no, we're back to thumbnail view. So there's no custom folder preferences. But to be honest, there seems to be very few file managers offering that now. In terms of the pre-installed applications on the system, anything under accessories? Nothing special. Education, nothing special there. Under games, you've got a couple of lightweight games, Minds and Sudoku, graphics. Just got Image Viewer and a simple scan. Internet, you've got Firefox for the web browser and Thunderbird for the email. Parole for the media player. Partial suite of LibreOffice and nothing much special under system. So nothing much has really changed in Zubuntu. So is it worth upgrading from Zubuntu 16.04 to 16.10? Well, I wouldn't really say it is unless you have specific problems on hardware. You could get a new kernel and then you could backport the kernels. So that's irrelevant. Maybe if you wanted new applications, but then again, you can backport the applications as well. So, uh, I don't know. If I was using Zubuntu 16.04, I would not be in a rush to upgrade to this version. In terms of how good the distro is alone, then yeah, actually, it just seems to be fine. It, it works. It gets the job done. So that was a look at Zubuntu 16.10. Thanks for watching. See you all later.